over near these beautiful stained glass windows is a shadowy humanoid figure. And it turns around and makes direct eye contact with you. What do you do? Hello? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> come into the light. Don't go. Well, what? <laughs> what you, what? That was very demanding. Honestly, oh, okay. I respect what she said. Well, she said what he's she in said. the dark and I can't see his face. No, That's fair. very dark. Fair. That is fair. I'm sorry to be so mysterious in this castle here. Allow me to come into the light, as the beautiful woman has said. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, she's gonna get horny again. I love this. When is she not Library. Horny? God, books just open me up. Mm. What? It takes out 30 pieces of gold. Oh. Hands them to you, Dolores. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll hold on to the, the cash. Well, clearly, as the leader of the group, I will be giving this to you. <laughs> 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 he was just saying that because I was holding it, I, you know. And you're very bossy. <laughs> 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 okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Thank you. Guys, this feels wrong to me. What? Uh, are you being distrustful of a robot? Because that's... That is no, that feels up, right? I'm so going to unplug. That actually Stop. is a little. I'll, I'll plug back up. What? Yeah, yeah. No, no, don't worry. I, 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 I've, I've got, I've got this. Uh, come on, Bernie. That's not what I said. You <laughs> no, know, does, I just. It does feel like you've been friends with yeah. Bernie for a while. Right. Uh, the year is 847. Like yeah, we're like, past I mean, like, that now. On, okay. Right? He is. He's clock and books. You are Earth. <laughs> Very well, different. I'm Wood. What and, do you think? And I think. I think. Books are made out of the same thing. Thank you. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be listening. No, what I can't listen. Doing? I don't know. I don't read. My name is Gaspard. I am. Gaspard? Your name is what? Gaspard. Gaspard. What's your name? Kudu? <laughs> is it Kudu? <gasps> Call okay. Just give me a shot. Sorry, yeah. Gaspard. Come on, just Thank give you. Him a Go shot. ahead, Gaspards. Thank you. <laughs> Tell me, is the prince all right? Yeah. Yes. Both of you rolled a seven. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Five. Plus. 11. Minus one. <laughs> Four, oh, that's 16. weird. You, I trust with my life for some reason. <laughs> okay. You say jump, I'll say wear into the dark. Oh. But you, okay. you're hiding something. Tell me, what is going on? Well, we, we ran into like a wolf type thing. Okay. And it was trying to kill us. And it was not friendly at it all. It was not friendly at all. Okay. And I tried to tell Bug not to kill it, okay. but Bug did kill. I okay. tried to reason with it, but Bug just fucking beat the shit out of it. Right. Okay. And Wait. Bug did do the last, you know, downswing with on. With a huge hammer. Bug it, beat Bug, its brain down. It is true. Bug's day. Bug got their moment, okay. and they absolutely murdered the crap out of it. <laughs> It was okay. awesome. Fernie. Okay. okay. All right. First of all. No, take own this. Yeah, you got that was your moment. <laughs> I this think this is your moment. I think <laughs> this is your moment, Bug. You shouldn't uh, don't downplay uh, your accomplishments. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> so, uh uh, you didn't even realize it was a prince. Uh, no, oh, stop. Wait, congrats on your moment. And then what else? We Did murdered the, wolf the prince. We murdered the prince and Bug Oh, the wolf did... isn't the prince. What? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. You're good. You're good. You're good. You're good. Oh. No. He's not the prince. The, okay. the wolf is a town pervert. You have done us a great favor. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Completely, so completely unrelated. What you're girls. saying is totally different thing. Bug, I put down my, my my satchel and I put down my hammer. And I go. So what you're saying is, I'm a hero. Sounds like you get all the credit for killing the town pervert. I, you I did took it. down the town pervert. You did it. And you and you both did a, did a good job. You did a great job. I also um, very much said that you did a fantastic job, Bug. Bug's in the corner and I'm just like practicing with my hammer. I look at Bug and I'm like sloppy. <sighs> a really intense eye contact with Coda. It's like I'm looking up. And now I want to invoke duplicity. Hell yeah. Do I have to roll? No. I just, just can't. Tell me. Okay. What does that look like to you? Okay. What are you doing with it? So after I break eye contact with Coda. I see myself, and there's a mirror image of myself, and I have my hammer. Now I'm just literally zoning out, and Coda's not looking at me. So now I'm gonna fight myself, and suddenly I'm fighting my ego, and I go, and again it's sloppy, and I look at myself and I go, sloppy. Oh my God. <laughs> and I go, you're sloppy. You're sloppy. You're a hero. You're sloppy. <laughs> and Dolores just walks over and she puts her hand on Bug's shoulder, and it's the wrong bug, it's the other one, and she's like, ah! I don't like that. And then before you know it, Bug is. <laughs> I don't get how he just falls asleep in full clothing. <laughs> he didn't even go to his room. I know. 
He's standing. I know. I'll put Bug on my shoulders. Let's go. His bo <laughs> his bone legged <laughs> legs so just go. Right. He's the only small. other small person. You're it's smaller like, than Bug. His bow legged legs just like <laughs> slip over my shoulders. Roll athletics for me. <laughs> it's been a long day. Nineteen. <laughs> wow. Wow. Plus one twenty. She's okay, a mother. So I'm a mother, honey. Dolores literally just palms bug like from the back and just like straight up walks I go, like. I go. <laughs> Perfect. All right. Well, good night, guys. And he just stands there and also just is like. <laughs> That's crazy. So I toss bug to land right on his bed, just the exact same lands. <laughs> as good I night, bug. As I fly in my bed, I go. I'm a hero. <laughs> <laughs> is Bug a honk shoe, honk shoe, or a uh, honk me, 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 me? It's <laughs> It's just one continuous. Uh, just, it never ends. <laughs> you uh, don't uh, breathe in, in the whole <laughs> night. In the morning, it just goes like, <laughs> Dolores, you're hiding so much of yourself. I've seen your eldritch blasts. What, apples, bits of cotton, a fart, cake. <laughs> <laughs> The fart was, um, was it was, yeah, I it was real. It. <laughs> it was, so. Don't cry. Oh my God, that really is the saddest thing I've ever heard in my entire life, minus my story. Right. Can I give you a hug? No. Oh, Fine. okay. And we leave our scene on that. All muscle. <laughs> we move on over to another room. That one. <laughs> Fernie, Fernie wakes up and he's just like, oh my God, I have an idea. He walks over to Bug's, Bug's bed and he like walks up to Bug and he like leans, leans <laughs> in. Bug, Bug, <laughs> Bug. What? Bug, I just had the craziest idea. We fight everyone and become the best fighters in the world? That's pretty cool, but I have an even better idea. Yeah, what is do it? Do what I do. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Has no one ever played patty cake with you before? No, well, yeah. I mean, you don't know what money or a toilet is, so why should this This is so me? crazy. This is the most eventful thing that's happened on this <laughs> night. <laughs> <laughs> You're so right. Yeah. Those those losers are probably asleep. They're probably just asleep doing nothing. We can't tell them that we're bonding like Let's this. Let's never tell them that we had this huge character development moment <laughs> <laughs> right now. I'd love to take this moment and just let you know, I think you're the strongest. I don't even know what you are. I don't know if you even have a method to how you move, but I'd love to just uh, just you know move like you can. Well, I guess all you have to do is replace all of your body parts with like wooden, <laughs> wooden robotic parts, which is what a bunch of woodland creatures did for me. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, that won't work for me. All right, but thanks. Okay. <laughs> he holds out this contract. Uh, do you all, what do you do? So Fernie, this is a pen. Uh, yeah. Quill, yeah. I know what to do with this. Bernie walks up, he grabs the quill, and he just, he, he sits there scribbling, and then when he walks away, it's just an impeccably drawn tree. <laughs> <laughs> just, it's very tiny, but it's just perfectly detailed, like fully de detailed pine tree. Bernie, is that your signature? Okay, I take the pen, and I draw, I like scribble, and it's a sun. <gasps> and I take the pen, and I write in the most beautiful, old school cursive, Dolores Paradise with a little flower as the eye. And I take it and I uh, um, I write in bubble letters, hero. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Wait, the... I have to add one thing. <sighs> and a little cute slice of pie. Ech. All right, this what did I do? legally binding document with all of your actual names on it <laughs> is complete. So <laughs> Gaspard uh, looks over to the uh, ladder, like it's, it's a typical like sort of sliding ladder on one end of the bookcase, and he grabs it, he says, when you are in the light, and then it stops immediately because that's as long <laughs> as the book <laughs> is, and he's like, well, there it is, take a look. I'm looking at the books and I'm like, any of you guys want to fight? 
<laughs> Anybody One wants. of them pops its head out and is like, no, not me! <laughs> and then pops back in. Ooh. The books can talk. Only I can! It's a very lonely life! Wow. <laughs> I envy the dead! Can I ask that book a question? We. Oh, great. Hi. <laughs> I have a question for you. Mm. We are looking to break a curse right. for this for our friend. I know that dance. <laughs> I don't like anyone here. Can I open you up and read your contents or can you tell wow, me? Wow, madam, rude. Can I see if there's any um, you know, information about the curse in your book? You know, when I was cursed and transformed into a book, I was curious as well where oh, what would be written inside of me. I had someone look. It's a bunch of pictures of organs. Spooky. So you're a medical book. I guess. I look at Fernie and I go, oh gosh, Dolores is going to be so horny for this book. Yeah, so he's gonna anyways. Wanna, she's going to spread that book open and blow its back out. <laughs> <laughs> and you look over and Dolores is just like her hands are just rubbing the back and the front and she's just going. Whoa, that's not, whoa. <laughs> wow. wow. Okay, so soft. Ugh. What did you look like when you were a human? Yeah. Well. And that is a hearth hag. Okay. Um, and you see the description. They are terrible fiendish beings that seek out babies in order to turn them into more of their kind. These are known for setting up domiciles and building locations out almost as nests and they can use them to spawn children of their own. Oh shit. Huh? Um, Is this a nest? You guys, it's just like, um, oh, I was about to say alien. <laughs> it's just like, it is just like alien though. You guys, it's just like, uh, um, what's like, bees. Bees do that, don't they? Do bees do that? Ants, ants do that. Do what? Uh, well, they they take prey and they make a mound and then they take prey back to the queen and the queen feeds on the prey. <gasps> oh yeah, you like ants. That's. But Ernie, she does roll, this. Roll with... a nature check for me. Sixteen, 16 plus. Uh, sixteen plus um, uh, f two. Oh. Two. So Coda saying this awakens something in you. And we get a solid two minute monologue <laughs> about ants. So yeah, so ants, the way they find their, their burrow and the way they, the queen gets created and all this stuff and like, and like yeah, a montage happens. He's so as he, as he drones out and is explaining, you all start to realize that this was maybe the most apt <laughs> yeah. metaphor that Coda could have ever dropped and Fernie is a wellspring of knowledge. And, and that's how ants. That that was actually. That really was incredible. actually incredible. Sorry that we keep saying actually before we compliment. Yeah, you. that was actually. Uh, that was incredible. Actually, incredible. Yeah, that was you're actually you're a, you're a good person. Thing. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm friends with a few colonies. Okay, so <laughs> if hag witch, it's all a woman. Oh my, I Bugs. do not. No, sir. I, I am a uh -uh. wooden robot and I am offended. I smack, wow. I smack bug across the head. And no! I'm sorry! Doing unarmed strikes, see how much damage it does. <laughs> That's a four. Uh, so Coda being incredibly strong as Coda is, um, and maybe fueled up, a little fired up, a little toasted, a little fiery from last night, uh, gives you a solid whack in the temple. It's four damage wow. to you, bug. Four damage? It's four damage. Oh. That's not how we talk about women, bug. That's true. I have never been more proud, honestly. Thank you. Of course. Bug, no hug this time. <gasps> no hug for Bug. I want to hurt you. Okay, well, <laughs> I'm already having a rough life. <laughs> okay. So why don't you uh, fulfill your contract? Ask me questions, whatever oh, you I get you up know and I'm like holding my cheek and I'm like, Bug, don't act like it hurts. And then I look at you and I'm like, I've re never realized my name rhymes with hug. Oh. Anyway, I did. Don't do anything to the flower. I was tasked with this job to keep the flower safe. Gaspar. Look at it all you want. But, oh. Gaspar, protector of flowers. You're a frog. No. You're a frog. No. That's a f***ed up thing to say to no. a friend. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you told us you I know. Cut it out. Uh, I know. Oh, Bob Bar, it's funny. Bob <laughs> 
I've never liked you, Gaspard, whatever the f your name is. It's You got it. Right where you left it are these shards on the ground. Shards of these uh, plate and a cup. And around them in a circle are so many other plates um, and cups right at your feet. Um, and now you can hear what you couldn't before, just wailing and crying. Um, oh, I and hate they, this. And they look up at you and a little cup just goes, ah, oh, what the f <laughs> Oh, why? Why? Oh. He wanted to sing his little song for you. That's all he wanted. Uh, what the f we're so Okay, okay, okay. So they could be, they could be sad about another one of their Maybe it was their We're grandfather. We're so sad that the prince is dead now. Oh. 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 Oh, um, no. You look over in the corner and there's a teapot just going oh, and just like uh, shooting tea uh, everywhere. Oh, oh God, <laughs> I, I can't watch throw up. I, that's why I wasn't a nurse. There's, I've never seen a teapot like white girl waste it before. <laughs> oh. uh, it, it, it lands in a cup and the cup is just like yeah, and just like pours oh, it out God, again. Oh God, two um, girls. This is really one. Crazy. That's not even the first reference in this series that has been that. made of that video. God damn. <laughs> um, so the cups are looking at you like, oh, we had that so many years to prepare a special song for visitors. And um, one of them, uh, one of the castle mages from back in the day, shows an illusion in their hands, replaying exactly what happened from their perspective. <laughs> so you <laughs> enter this door, and then um, all the plates are shaking, like I said, just shaking, shaking. And uh, mainly the one up in front, and this one goes, Go on, it's okay. You've practiced for so long. He's like, <laughs> But I am so nervous. And it's like, No, you've got this, our prince. Lead us. You have the solo in the song. You've earned it. It's like, We've earned it. So they take each other's hands, they walk up together as a pair, and then they start to launch into it. You are here! You are here! Ah! Just like shattering to dust with shards on the ground. And it was like, oh my god! And all the plates are shaking, shaking, shaking as you walk by. And when you raised your hammer at them, they stopped. It's a new thing we made up. I had no idea that it was a performance. I thought we were getting attacked. By a plate? Yes! Or what? Or what is even the worst case scenario of a plate? But also, I think it's. I think you should give us the benefit of the doubt. How are we supposed to know that the plate was an important, was an important monarch figure? We well, just thought it was a plate. I guess when but you say it like that, you stopped our royal line. Oh my what god. The um, okay, wow. my heart is truly broken. I'm so sorry. Give him your, give him your, your pie. I'm so sorry. Want, that's my job. I carry those. I can't give him a pie. They're a plate that's broken. What's the point? Well, I thought I didn't know a plate could be a king. I didn't know maybe it's my prince. You are so lucky that Elizabeth is stuck in the kitchen as an oven. Eliz because no one has had to tell her anything about her betrothed. <laughs> oh, she was betrothed to a prince. To the prince, to the dead prince. So she's the oven? Wow, great choice. Of course, always right. make us the big object. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Having a day, okay? Uh, it's okay. She plates it here, and then Fernie's just like, she plates it. Fernie, here. no! <laughs> Fernie, no! He goes to the door. He's okay. like, just kidding. I'm just kidding. I think there's nothing we can do but apologize and walk out. I, where? Apologize. Apologizing is not going to put our prince back together. Look at him. His body's over there, and his body's over there. Can I ask you a question? You just did. No. Why is everyone in this house annoying? <laughs> what? What? I tell you we what. If everyone in the room is an asshole, you're the asshole. Shh. You killed the prince! Okay, <laughs> what are you gonna do if the prince is dead? Is there another person in the, uh, or is it done? Not really. No, the prince is dead. What about Bertha or whatever the f her name Elizabeth? is? Elizabeth? Yeah. <laughs> he was a very special prince. He was marrying the commoners, not nobility. Of course, the commoners and her last name's Girth. Great. Elizabeth is her first name. <laughs> okay, well, even worse. Her last name is Saint Trash. <laughs> I hate <laughs> this place. You know what? I'm I'm ready to go because we killed the prince and you know what? He probably was a shit man. He was the most perfect man of all. Oh God. <laughs> Maybe he was the one good man. He I don't was. <laughs> I'm but, saying. Okay, let's just apologize and leave. Should we let Alyssa Girth? No, I hate that I don't want to go talk to an oven and apologize to it. <laughs> I've already been slapped by my hero. I want to go home. We can't go home, bug. <laughs> Maybe we should 
shouldn't have signed this contract. Maybe we should have just delivered the thing and gone. We haven't even gotten into combat yet, and I don't want to do this. Stop. Hey, pull it together, Ken Dolores. Don't you dare slap me. Ken Dolores says. Uh, roll to hit because Bug is not distracted this time. You should stop. Bug, stay. And then you just gotta snap suck. out of it. 15. That hits. Holy shit. Holy shit, that hits. Snap uh, out of your it. Roll your damage. Roll your damage for a d4. Meaty hooks. Three. Mm. All right, Jesus so you three damage to Bug. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. <laughs> oh my God, thank you. That woke me up a little bit. Great. Okay. Can we go? You're right. Let's get out of here. Okay, let's go. Um, and they start to slowly stitch themselves together in a way that you can tell the plate was broken. You can very much see these breaking points, but they are now once again connected. Prince! <laughs> Is that what he sounded like before? Not even close. <laughs> <laughs> but what the f did you do to the prince? <laughs> but he is free. He's alive. Ah! My work here is done. Ah! Ah! Oh! Ah! You're welcome. Ah! I don't know what, what that, is that is. I'm just gonna walk. I'm gonna. I'm gonna turn to everyone and be like, be like, this will be our little secret for now. It'll be funny. You say don't, that to the cops and uh, plates. Yeah, I'll be like, don't, don't. Tell them. It'll be a fun little surprise, because they all think that the prince is dead. Roll intimidation. Okay. <laughs> My intimidation is like, hey, come on. We'll keep yeah. it a secret. Uh, that is a one. <laughs> um, so, uh, hey, that's a, keep this little secret. That's a natural one. Uh, so, Shane, they look at you, and they're like, you know what? No. I am going to tell everyone that I know. In fact, I'm going to invent a new method of communication just to do it. Or my name isn't Jacques Telegram. No. Uh, <laughs> and Fernie, Fernie looks at them all, <laughs> and he just like this. He just goes. <laughs> he leaves the room. Uh, door just off its hinges. You just walk through. Just <laughs> <laughs> what is a cistern? Cistern. Oh, wow. Cistern. Cistern. Well, you know how you can have like a cistern or a brother. Uh, why did I, I ask? I don't. Okay. <laughs> Mm-hmm. We yeah. have a lot of work to do. <laughs> um, and it's funny because I definitely know what a cistern is. Great, what is it? No, I, I know what it is, and I'm gonna tell Roll you. Roll deception. <laughs> <laughs> that's a four. Minus one. Okay, so that's a three. Coda, I would like you, with the most bold face possible, to tell everyone here what a cistern is. Loud and proud. Come on, hero of mine. Hey, Tell me uh, what it is. Uh, suddenly, something <laughs> opens up in Fernie's chest that, or like in his like lower abdomen, where it's like this one of those like readers. And it's like. Okay, um, a cistern is someone that you kind of hire to do the work for you for free that identifies as a female. Cistern, like intern, but cis. Bernie, when it goes really high, does that mean he's telling the truth? No. Oh. <laughs> okay, I don't know what a cistern is. Well, I know what a cistern is. It is a Please place- Please roll deception. <laughs> oh no, you don't know either? I- <laughs> So this is another four? It's no. a six okay. plus five, 11. Okay, make up whatever lie you wanted to lie. So a cistern, pretty easy, pretty cool place. Um, it's underneath castles normally, and it's usually where holy men come together to say prayers and read the Bible and, um, you know, basically shoot the shit and smoke cigars and uh, connect with the Lord. And I've never been invited, <laughs> ever, in my life. And it's uh, it says sister in it, but it's a lie. Oh. Well, the 90s lie detector test on Fernie seems good. <laughs> 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 all right, so given that 90s lie detector test, um, you all believe her. So now you know you are looking out for a, like a church lounge. Okay. Uh, you know, like a castle, like church lounge. Yeah, okay. I'm for it. Um, I love a church lounge. Seemingly from out of the ether, completely invisible, claws appear and behind it a horrible, horrible looking woman. Green skin peeling off, bubbles and boils everywhere, white wiry hair, and she slashes at your face. Um, let's see here, that is a six, okay, so that's definitely gonna hit. Yeah. And she does, six, she does 10 damage to you. So she catches right on your cheek and hits a couple vital points. 
Um, immediately, the, the thing that is next to her rushes off in the water as well and begins getting some distance from you. What is with everybody today and hitting my face? Do you want pie? <laughs> no! Uh, so, um, Fernie is first going to uh, summon Beast. Oh, great. Uh, so, Fernie, like, uh, they're, they're like, they like, do this, their eyes shine white and all this stuff and everything like goes Ooh. crazy. And then like this beam shows up in front of them. Right. And then this small little beast nice. shows up. A very pissed off raccoon. Okay. Just a very a very chubby, uh, but but oh. pissed raccoon. Okay. Uh, Great. Very fierce. Um, fantastic. Um, so you've invoked this beast, so it takes its turn after you. Yes. And now it's the raccoon's turn. Yes! yes. Name him. <laughs> So, uh, <laughs> so Ruben the raccoon. Yeah. <laughs> yes. he's, like, he's like, what's up, guys? All right, it's me, Ruben. How's it going? Woo. All right, this hag's going down. Yeah. Here we go. And he, he, he runs on two feet. He does not. He does not run like a raccoon. He's like, he's like, all right, let's let's. Whoa. 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 He's just a guy. <laughs> he's just some guy, but he happens to be. Uh, yeah, he's he's gonna go up and he's gonna he's gonna like. Start trying to try to get, try to get this. All right, guy. roll to hit uh, as he's trying to get him. All right. This is the coolest thing I've ever. That seen. That is a twelve. Damn. Plus, uh, let's see. What do I add to that? That's a twelve plus six. Oh, great. So Damn. rolled an eighteen. That does hit. Roll for damage because okay. this raccoon is the first one to hit the hag. This all right. Time. And uh, let's see. So uh, hit is one d eight. All right. Uh, that's an eight. Eight? Oh, that's great. Uh, 1d8 plus four plus spells level, uh, so that's a level two spell. 1d8 plus four plus two. All right, so that is 1d8, uh, you rolled eight plus four, so that's 13 damage. Yeah. Um, amazing. Wow. And amazing. he has multi-attack. Woo! That's <laughs> actually Ruben's wild. Ruben's crazy. Uh, it up. So Ruben's like, all right, let's keep going. <laughs> <laughs> so Ruben is, uh, yeah, uh, laying down the law. Uh, go ahead and roll to hit again. Okay, okay. For that multi-attack. Uh, that's a one. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Ruben is just walking over and batting at the hearth hag, uh, just doing some major damage, and then he just sort of like turns around and is like so stoked. He's like, hey. He tries to hit her again and just completely whiffs it and falls over. <laughs> uh, just sort of like, <laughs> like in the, uh, like two inches of water, even though he's a spirit. Why not? Why not? Um, great. Um, next up. Wait, uh, <laughs> Bug just watched that whole, Fernie just do that whole thing and the raccoon, and I just went, it's crazy to see your heroes, it's crazy to see your heroes at work. <laughs> <laughs> Ruben's like, <laughs> <laughs> Ruben is just facing, like. <laughs> just I cast True Strike, and it's like a light beam directly at uh, the hag. It's like a laser pointer. Yes. yes. Okay. It's like Wicked meets Star Wars. It's like Wicked meets yeah. Star Wars. Yeah. Then I uh, cast Blade Song, and it's like. And it's like nasty, nasty EDM that fills nice. the cistern. Stinky. I have never liked this music. Ruben's like. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. His okay, little Tommy just. So, so go, Coda, given that that is your turn, right? Yeah. Okay, great. Um, we now get back to the cockatrice. Um, something that's supposed to happen now that I didn't just remember is Ruben's here. <laughs> and should have gone a couple of bits ago, but He's he was still maybe just biding his time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so what's Ruben do, Shane? Uh, Ruben's like, like he was he was floating in the water, and all of a sudden he's just like, <laughs> and then he, he gets there, he's like, he's like, all right, no, second wind, second wind. All right, here we go. Uh, I hear no bell. <laughs> I hear no bell. Let's freaking go. Uh, uh, he kind of, since he's a spirit, he just suddenly has like boxing gloves on. Round like, three. Like, you go, <laughs> yes. All right. He looks up. He sees uh, Fernie has the the hag yeah. in his mouth. And he's like, he's like, oh sweet, easy target. Just go right, like runs right up to the hag's face, mm -hmm. and he's like, "All right, get him, get him, give him the one 2 Is this claw? It, it is a technically claw, but he's got gloves so on. So he poops but... on the gloves, and does he take one off? <laughs> he's like, he, he poops on the gloves, and he goes up, and he's like, he's like, "All right, I'm gonna take these. <laughs> All right, let's go." <laughs> uh, that is a five plus five to hit. Um, he does unfortunately whiff against the hag. So he's like, "All right, go." <laughs> Good thing I got another locked and loaded. Oh, do you get two hits? He gets multi-attack, okay. yeah. So he's like, all right, on, here, Ruben. second one, here comes. Uh, so the, okay, that one definitely hits. He's like, all right, that was just a tester. I'm just feeling out the area in front of me. Here I go, now here's nice. the real one. So that's- Jesus, Ruben. 
Uh, it's a two. two. So that's yeah. a seven damage against the hag. Yeah. Um, so this witch that's been living comfortably in the cistern for maybe 500 years, we're not sure, um, is now uh, having her ass bitten by a gator or crocodile of some kind. Um, and just uh, being beaten up in the face by a raccoon ghost. Yeah. And even though, uh, you know, again, hags in D&D are different than witches. Um, she is actually like a fiendish creature. She is like a demon of some kind. Oh, um, <laughs> you see for the first time a little bit of like confusion and fear enter her face yeah. of just like, this has been a really weird day. I know that face. Mm. <laughs> I know that face. That face comes to me once a month. Yeah, that face comes to me once a month and it lasts a week. Oh no. <laughs> what? Can I use my mage hand to bring Bug a slice of pie? Because I feel like if I start walking, I might get attacked. Oh, I love that. That's such a good idea in a combo of things. So mage hand, um, yeah, yeah, let's say that. So okay. uh, these pies we said, so good berries do heal, I think from one to three health. You baked it into a pie, let's say it, it can do one to four now. So what does this mage hand look like to you feeding Bug some pie? because Bug is like half under the water. Oh, this mage hand is stunning. It's gorgeous. Ooh, ooh. Very, very, very pale skin. Yes. Has not touched the sun. Mm. And if it did, it wore SPF big time. Sure. It's beautiful, long, long fingers with these gorgeous long nails that Great. kind of feel like they're not me, but I wish I could, you know, rock that hand a little bit. You know what? It's like the okay. inner, inner, you know, <laughs> dangerous side of me. Okay, I love it. So this Gorgeous. dangerous hand. We're seeing this like <laughs> oh, Enderman like yeah. hand. So <laughs> this hand comes over, Bug. And so you haven't been able to see much. And if you are able to open your eyes, it's sort of muddied up with like this murky water and a little bit of blood. And all of a sudden you just see a little bit of light peer through the water and you think to yourself, is that Dolores? Kind of. The nails um, are this, the nails are red because she's a little and nasty. they're so long and she's so nasty. So this this hand uh, dips through the water and with long long nails starts feeding you sticky cake <laughs> through the muddy water. Um, and it smells like coconut, but doesn't taste like that because there's SPF. <laughs> and you know it doesn't taste like that, but 50. it smells like it. 50. Anything under doesn't do anything. Trust that me. That hand is you're half, <laughs> you're half awake and all of a sudden you feel. Oh, uh, so let's see here. You restore four health bug. So. Even after all that, you are now back on your feet. Does the hand stay there? Does it retreat back to you? The hand stays there, but the hand does a little, since I can't be there, I tell it, give a little, give a little love. And the hand gives a little, uh, <laughs> gives a little like pat on the head. <laughs> My mouth dry as f with weird berry <laughs> pie. Goes, <laughs> and water, it's like moist pie. Bug, yeah. this is an extension of me. <laughs> you got a mouth full of moist, son. But it's my dirty side. It was. In my brain, I'm what? like, I hope, I hope Bernie and Coda aren't seeing my life come back with a piece of pie. Uh, Bernie's Bernie over here, going, he goes like, where'd I go? <laughs> <laughs> so, Fernie, it's your turn again. You got a hag in your butt. And excuse me. You what? Gotta, sorry. You got a hag in your mouth. You got a hag's butt in your mouth. Ooh, uh, what are you doing? I'm gonna just. I'm gonna try to like release it and then, chomp, like yeah, get, the a, old get a chomp. get a full chomp. Do it. Do take it, off one guy. of the cheeks. Here we go. It's a ham like hog right there. Cheek. Uh, that is a six plus five. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that one does not hit. But the good news is, it's Ruben's turn. It is Ruben's turn, and Ruben's Ruben's there, and he's he's ready. So Ruben's like, all right, let's go. I'm still here. Uh, swing and a boop. That hits for sure. 17, yeah. Go bam. for it. So he gets a good, good swing. Now he's going for an uppercut. Nice. He's just like, a <laughs> Then he, he's just like a sweet old uh, swing. That's a seven plus five. <laughs> nice. So uh, this hag is having the worst day of her uh, almost done life, uh, not doing very well at all. Um, she's starting to get dizzy, a little bit woozy. There's a little bit of hag blood on the ground. Um, Yucky, icky, yeah, sticky. Yeah, really gross. Yucky. And it's oh. like touching on my dress. My dress is getting like some blood all over it. All right, that was Hall, it's time for Oats. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> the two famous bards. Uh, that's a seven uh, plus five. So maybe that one misses. That one does miss. So he's um, like, oh, whatever, you know, I, don't, I didn't need that one. As this uh, chromatic orb opens up, you can see the reflection of the, the hag's eye in it and all these memories of 500 years of servitude in this castle start to whip through her mind, um, you know, looking about it, thinking about what she's done. And she has this one moment of smiling and she just laughs, this evil <gasps> witch laugh of like, oh. <laughs> as you jam this chromatic orb in her face, and she crumbles <laughs> to dust. 
Okay, she deserved that. Yeah, shit. she was she really did. To the very last. Yeah, the she very saw her breath. whole life flash, and then she laughed. She's like, I don't remember him. <laughs> so the. Wait, so does this mean we did it? You guys did it, basically. I know I basically shot the bed, but <laughs> we did it. I will clean that up later. By the way. Um, I really shut the bed? <laughs> yeah, you, a you lot. Had a, you had a rough day. I think you had some like poison in your system. It's it's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, however, oh. yes and no. Um, so she is gone. I believe everyone else would probably be back to being humans or whatever they were before the curse. Um, but everything in the castle has um, shifted and changed. Uh, the castle is not like a castle castle. It's um, how to describe. Um, it, it, it looks it, different now. Uh, what do you mean it looks different? Uh, you should probably look. Okay, so the thing I almost died for right. and looked stupid in front of my heroes for right. is is just, uh, it's not around anymore? Oh, it's definitely it's around. It's around, but we have, sure. to find it. we have to find it. Is is the mimic controlled by something? Something magic? I, I would have to assume there's something uh, acting as the main core of the mimic. Is just as every house has its hearth, and every house has its uh, Great. heart. You must find the heart of the mimic. Great, Gasford. Um, Great. real quick. Um, so. Does that mean that we can find who's controlling the mimic in this house? What's controlling the mimic? What's controlling the mimic? I mean, I would sure hope so. The There's core. got to be something that you can poke you, with a sword. Or you and I would never have a relationship, I swear to God. On the walls or something. I just, I missed that whole thing. I'm sorry, just like I don't, you've got to be able to kill something. So I think what's controlling this house is magic. You're telling it's me <laughs> that this giant castle with giant tongues sticking out of it with every room moving around at random. Yes. Is magic? Yes! Seems crazy. Yeah. Well, guys, this looks bad, but at least it's not a turtle dragon that we unleashed on the world. God. You know, if you think about it, this is the second second worst thing that we've done in the past week. Yeah, it seems very close together. I'm like, I don't Are know we? what we're doing wrong. Are yeah. we the problem? It's us? Mm. It's me. <laughs> we are doing exactly what's being asked of us. Maybe we sort need of. to start doing what we ask of ourselves. Yeah. Did somebody step in shit or something? Yeah, did somebody steal something? Or did, or did it, do any of you have any bad omens or anything? Because it feels like the second we started this, nothing goes right. Well, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> huh? No. You are in the dining room from before. Ugh, I hate this room. I know, you're gonna keep coming back to it. I don't um, think I've been in this room. Not really, no. Okay, I'm excited. So, you now see that what was once a long table of plates and cups has some plates and cups left, but there's a lot of villagers there. A lot of villagers you haven't seen before in their human form. <gasps> are they naked? Oh no. No. Chance. Oh no. They're not <laughs> naked. Okay. So you are all looking around and you see a bunch of villagers, and one of them very much stands out to the rest. Oh no. Oh, no. His face is the most beautiful, pristine creature you've ever seen. A strapping young man of age, I'd say around tw mid 20s. Um, just a little bit of stubble, um, sort of open, ruffled, like poet shirt, long, flowing, like strawberry blonde hair. And he is standing there in this beautiful pose. Mm. But you can tell from the neck down, everything is stitch, 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 all cobbled together. One of the villagers, uh, a little guy with a mustache and a cap, uh, maybe mid 40s, turns around and goes, Well, 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 look who it is. Look who's back. The troublemakers and the new guy. Troublemakers. What did y'all do? Hello. Haven't you done enough damage yet? Well, we didn't know uh, people, you know, it was just a plate um, attacking us. And I fixed, I fixed him. He looks and great. You yeah. make him way worse. He keeps begging for death. And you look over and oh, no. um, what is clearly the prince just turns to you and goes like, ah, I live in the Oh no. <laughs> no, we are heroes. <laughs> that makes me really upset. You could have gotten married and had a life. Oh, sorry, sorry. And hearing this, he uh, flies in a, a fit of tears. Well, looks like the shoe is on the other foot, which you put on backwards. Mm -hmm. 
What? What? Nothing. Yeah, that's right, nothing. Okay, look, all we wanted to ever do was put on a lovely performance for you with the prince as our lead. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he didn't get to do that. And they look over to the prince, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> If we are going to mercy kill or let him live as he is, he deserves one good performance. So no. either... No. Well, look, yes. either, either you fix him. No. Either you fix him and put him back, <laughs> or you let him sing for you, and you give him the life he deserves. You have been spinning all over me, sir. All I know is the prince's willpower is tied to this castle, and he wants what he wants. He's like, <laughs> he's like, probably, yes. So the next door to the next area, what you thought was the kitchen, won't open until he gets what he wants. That's it, our current running theory. So either you fix him, or you perform with him, or let him perform. I don't know, the he needs to be is, happy. The princess is in the other room. Well, she's a commoner, but if they get married, she will Oh, be okay, of course. Just... Elizabeth. Still... Elizabeth. Oh, okay, Elizabeth. Like you have name. to say she's a commoner? Yes, Elizabeth St. Trash. She's beautiful and works with all of the- You guys are nightmares. You're a nightmare. You already knew this information. <laughs> you're so, you're having a tantrum right now. Okay, we need to, okay, we have options. my friend. <laughs> I don't want to see him perform. I kind of feel like we have to, though. His willpower is tied to this castle. What if that, like, heals something in the castle? I, I'm always down for performance. I love m live music. You oh, do? I don't know if it's gonna go well. You <laughs> have you done live performance, Fernie? Um, no, but I can summon creatures that can do live performance. Okay, what if if one of us joins him, it'll probably be less, it'll probably be more stomachable. Okay, person with the lowest role joins him. Hey, Kelwick, if there is a new soul, for this prince, I ask that you give him one. Goodbye, Kelwick. End of prayer. Okay, go ahead and roll a d20 for me. I like that you pray like you send an email. <laughs> <laughs> that, is a, that is an eight, and so a uh, chance you gave her advantage, right? Yeah. Great. 13. All right, so um, Bug with a 13 through the help of Coda. Just thinking, thinking about it, thinking about stuff. You start to see, um, a light uh, surround the prince. And it's not the brightest, and it's not the holiest, but it's there. <laughs> and you see the prince just sort of like uh, uh, And all of a sudden, his body jerks, and he sort of looks around at his hands and, and questions them for a minute. And Coda, you looking over to this, you see that light mm -hmm. behind his eyes. Mm -hmm. There's something there. And he looks over to this party of four and there's some recognition there. And a huge smile creeps across the face and says, I am Rampam, greeter of the gates. And it's so lovely to see you again. Yes, no, no. Oh. Good, bad, yes. Hello. It's Rumpum? Yes. Is that? Or? Who was sent? <laughs> I was, I so recently got to the afterlife and they just shot me on back. Bug. Oh, great. What did you do? I'm gonna have to relearn boundaries. Wow. <laughs> I am Rumpum, defier of death. <laughs> and now you're a, a person. You're a human. Oh, How does that feel? dope. I thought you all got shorter. Oh God. This is cool. It's I, like when an ex finds you wherever <laughs> you go. You know? I can't wait to see Rumpum, Dolores, and whatever animal you become perform. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, sorry, you wanted me gone for a minute. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of depth to going on here. I'm gonna need a quick rundown, real quick. <laughs> um, so to catch you up to speed. Yeah, I need a new title. <laughs> This is all different, I'm telling um, you. Yeah, you're in the body of a prince. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Wouldn't uh, be the first time. No, it is. Ew, no, yeah, it definitely is. Don't be crude. No, I used to be a surgeon. Oh. Oh, okay. So, um, yeah, Rum Pum, your only job is to just, you know, talk less and just hang. And you do have a performance coming up, so. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so, side note. So, hold on. I've <laughs> so, arrow through the head. Remember that very briefly. Um, Afterlife, every religion is wrong, just so you know. 
Real weird, real different. Uh, I'm back. Tell that to your god. I don't think that's true. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> What's my title? What am I doing? I want to help you out here. You're my best friends I ever had, but it's... What are we doing? Your title is Prince, okay? Prince of. I remember the name. It's it's San, Sans Sans Sanor. 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 Okay, that's great. Oh, I remember that. Okay, we did Good it. Good job, Fernie. Hey. You just unlocked a memory. Wow. Yeah. So I am warming up my voice right now, getting ready to perform. Uh -huh. That's what you have to do. We are going to perform in order to get out of this room. Stops right there. Yeah. Yeah, still not attractive. What the. F what do I gotta do? I'm ripped, look at me! No, I'm down to help you and then unlock the door because we perform good. Sure, okay, and it's a dance? Uh, I think it's more of a performance. Yeah, with song. music and song and a little clown work. You've got it in you. <laughs> a, little, a little miming if you have it. A little <laughs> Comedia dell'arte if you will. <laughs> no. A little visual, little visual arts for you. A, a variety show. Yeah, with oh. a water feature. Oh, okay. <laughs> Like a song and dance, man. I can do that. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Great. Simplify it. Amazing. Sure. Well, no time like the present. We're just going to drink our water and try not to spit it out. What we see are four weasels show up, and they 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 get summoned up. They're wearing like white t-shirts and button-up shirts. Uh, the lead <laughs> singer has glass like black glasses on. <laughs> it's like a classic, you know, guitar. One of them has a bass. One oh of them's got a drum yeah. Set. Yep. The lead singer's like, "What's up? We're weasel." Ugh. <laughs> oh. Is that yeah, a weasel joke? it's a Weezer joke. <laughs> okay. God, but it's that's, that's yeah. pretty good. good. He yeah. thought about that for a long time. Yeah. Okay. You go. You had you had Death Leopard. You had Seal. What is wrong with you? Oh, just Seal. Well, well I also no, I think weasel. you like Weasel. No, no. or Fern, Beatles. Fern, Fernie's like listening. He's like, look, I, I, there's also another band where the lead singer's named Dave Mole. Uh, uh, there's just Pitbull. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> to, I can take Weasel back no, no, and throw no, no. a Pitbull. I weasel. would love a little Pitbull. Okay, we can, <laughs> I can throw Worldwide. a Pitbull as well. <laughs> a no, fifth one? Go with your first instinct. I think no. Weasel. All right, Weasel. Weasel's, Weasel's, perfect. So Weasel's weasel. out there, they're like, all right, man, Like we got good songs, man. People love us, so I don't know what's wrong. <laughs> so we got four Weasels and a, a horrible tree robot. So Dolores, you, um, have have bitten off more than you can chew. Oh, um, and that's what they say about all mothers. But trust me, I'm I'll survive. They sure do. Um, you've bitten off more than you can chew, and what you start doing is um, not bad on its own, but like because you're doing all of these things at once, it's a little confusing. <laughs> it's a little avant-garde. It's a little <laughs> sad. Um, whereas we've seen you be athletic and acrobatic before, you're kind of just like you're kind of just like stuck in these silks and you're just like wet and they're like damp. You're just like, ah, But can I have a big and smile on my face? Yes, you've got a big smile and you're trying your best to perform with this uh, uh, whistle. And it's not the most pleasing sound. Um, <laughs> let's put that together. Okay, and I'm watching this at the table and I'm like, I'm like cringing, big cringe. So I'm gonna, for the rest of the villagers who are watching, I'm guessing, mm -hmm. I'm gonna cast Minor Illusion, and uh, in front of them, it says, this is your brain on mead. <laughs> while they're doing whatever they're doing. Okay, that's, okay, great. That's yeah. awesome. Um, and I think everyone is staring at me, clapping. I'm like. <laughs> and Weasel's singing a song called Cork and Meads. Yeah. Great, <laughs> oh, great. Um, so, Fernie, <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in this moment? Uh, can Fernie, uh, Fernie has the front of his chest like kind of opens up and then like a wooden uh, xylophone appears and he, yes. he like takes out things and starts like trying to play them. Great, awesome. No, so you roll Not to the rhythm of anything. You roll a performance check, please. That's, an, that's, a, that's a 10. Another that's 10. also a 10. So again, Jesus. like, not with any particular rhythm in mind, but you sure are hitting the, blo the blocks. Uh, you're doing it, you really are. And then finally we have Rum Pum. Um, Cause don't worry, I'm not just gonna do this to you. Um, Rum Pum. <laughs> you guys. I rolled an 18. <laughs> <laughs> Rum Pum rocks it. So Rum Pum uh, sees this uh, and looks out at the audience whose face is just sort of like, because they're seeing um, these horrible beasts that they watch murder their most beloved monarch um, uh, just get up on stage and just sort of start like wailing and hitting shit. There's four ghosts um, and then uh, the body of their like desiccated prince hobbles up to the front and is like, all right, uh, here we go. <clears throat> 
these are the nights that you wish you were here. And everyone's like, oh, 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 cool. And the audience starts to cheer and laugh and yell, and it doesn't matter that everything else is really weird and uncomfortable because it's working out great. However, Coda and Bug, you two sort of have the, um, the burden of knowing that like these are your friends up here and this is not the best they could do. And because you're so focused on that, um, the, the sound coming from the xylophone and the, the silks and the whistle and the, and the weasels, uh, they're all kind of messing with your brain a little bit. I need you both to give me a wisdom safe. Bug, um, you are looking at this like shambling prince body with the soul of a frog man in it, just sort of wailing as all these things are happening behind him. And all at once, this kind of just hits you like, what the f you just did with your day to that man, uh, you killed him, you brought him back, you put the wrong soul in his body, <laughs> you're starting to feel bad, I'm gonna need you to roll 2d4 of psychic damage. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we know we're inside a giant man. <laughs> <laughs> Two. Two plus four. You like six psychic damage. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> no, I'm actually really not. You get a little bit of a nosebleed. Oh my God. You should have performed. It's way more fun. Up here. <laughs> yeah, it's great. <laughs> so I'm like, maybe prayer doesn't work. Oh, shit. Yeah, uh, the performance is so bad, you start to question your uh, belief system. Oh, shit. Um, now, Coda, uh, yeah. people are looking at uh, this sign and say, uh, you know, they're like, this is your brain on me. Mm -hmm. um, and, and the chef, the chef in the room mm -hmm. uh, looks toward it and then looks at you and goes, oh, we may. Is that true about me? Yeah, it's really poisonous for your body and it's addictive and it's a depressant and a lot of people don't know that. Oh, I need to stop drinking forever. And he puts down the bottle and resigns himself <gasps> to never drink again. But he did it cold turkey. Let me roll real quick. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> that is a seven. Okay, so uh, he starts to like shake and go into withdrawals. Oh the my god. The whole audience <laughs> turns around at what this shaking you know? sick man. <laughs> This is you guys solving puzzle room number one at this shaking and Whoops. sick man. Um, he's just like sputtering on the ground. They're just like, he, he, they don't know what's wrong. Nobody knows what's wrong. Coda, you're an agent of chaos, <laughs> dude. Oh, Coda, so what'd you do? <laughs> <laughs> Coda, you should come up here. I didn't do anything. Yeah. I said you wish you were a frog. Where's my water feature? <laughs> um, <laughs> This is a Courage the Cowardly Dog episode. It does feel like Courage the Cowardly Dog. I throw up, I throw up Pitbull. All right. <laughs> just Pitbull. Yes. Can you describe, yes. describe Pitbull? Pitbull, <laughs> just, it, it just like, it just, it's literally a Pitbull on all fours, but With sunglasses. sunglasses. Right. And a chain. Yeah. Uh, but and, bald. <laughs> fully bald. Just no fur. No fur on right the here. But fur right here. Right. Just in a goatee. Just, just, <laughs> just dark fur right there. <laughs> <laughs> He's just like, Mr. 305! Finally, my music! Oh, my yeah! Gonna roll a 305! <laughs> um, Let's suddenly, turn okay, that so negative to positive. Mr. Roll 5! Bernie, uh, your mind is suddenly filled with images of Miami. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> maybe you're out of energy. Maybe you, you know, not having the whistle kind of threw you off balance. Yeah. Um, but like, you are, uh, you, you do that thing where you kind of like slip down the ropes a little bit and fall, but you like catch yourself at the end, but you're dunking your hair in the water. But you went like too low and it's like kind of in your nose, like, ha, 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 <coughs> and you're kind of coughing it up um, on the front row and they're like, yay. Um, and then uh, Pitbull uh, does great. You start to hear like the reggaeton like as he's like rapping how he does. <laughs> yeah. You pull out these turntables not connected to anything. So it's just two discs of wood on other wood. You just feel like, yeah. <laughs> as you're just, Scraping wood blocks against wood blocks. Um, so that's a little bit rough. And then Rumpom <laughs> rolls a 19. I swear uh, to God. Rumpum. Wow. Um, so Rumpom does uh, an awesome Pitbull style rap along with Pitbull. Hell yeah. Coda and Bug, you are once again listening to this. And between the scraping of sounds and watching this old lady <laughs> just fall into a puddle of water and waterboard herself, I need you both what to roll. What the hell? I need you both to roll wisdom saves again. <laughs> What's going on with this shaking man next to us? Oh, he's dying. And so you are headed to the door and you're just gonna try opening it? Yeah, I'm gonna try opening it. Okay, um, it opens. Oh. 
So we didn't even need the performance, you guys. Oh. Well, no. we d well, I I did. You know what? It was more for you. Thank You're right. You. So fixing the prince's body made him really happy, and making the prince oh. happy was the stipulation for opening the door. Um, but it was very nice of y'all to also decide to perform for that audience. We could have just <laughs> after I made this man. Run Nobody down. checked. <laughs> Pimple starts to pee, and then he just goes. It disappears. <laughs> Dolly! That was, that's, he did do that once. I saw did, it. It was did weird. Did do that. Um, I, have a, uh, uh, I have a hand axe. I have a boomerang. I can use the boomerang and the, and the sword. sword. Okay. I say go for uh, it. So I, I take out the sword Wait, and the boomerang. Before you use it, should we do that really vulnerable thing we did that one time? <sighs> yeah, I was just thinking that too. Let's make sure no one's looking. Okay. Um, roll, right. both of you roll deception. <laughs> to see if you can just stealthily do this. Four. Uh, uh, 10 plus four, 14. Awesome, go for it. Okay. okay. I don't think they're looking. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. That was awesome. <laughs> what did she roll? Uh, 14. 14 and then it was a four. So um, you look over and um, Coda and Dolores are like looking up from the pool, staring directly at you. And then you turn around and there's Kevin the moth and an army of other moths going like, sick, dope. Nice. Yeah. Oh, shit. Right. Patty cake. Patty cake, yeah. No. That wasn't what you saw. That was the thing. That wasn't that. That was, um. <laughs> I got a crowbar and I have bagpipes. Use the bagpipes <laughs> like two, the two, use the two things. All right. Okay. My okay. unseen Chopsticks. servant is going to, I'm going to hang on to my unseen servant. They are going to grip the bagpipes and I'm going to bring them down. They're going to use Fernie the two things. Fernie sees this from across the room. He's just like, you had bagpipes. <laughs> During and you didn't use those during, during the, the performance. performance. I can't do a split and do bagpipes. I needed only the whistle stick. I know myself and my own strength. I know my limits. You didn't need to do the aerial stuff. Yes, I did. No one was doing a visual. Over the course of our, our adventures, I have learned frustration from you guys, <laughs> and I am feeling it right now. Well, welcome. Welcome, yeah. He just sort of looks up at you for like extra commands. Like it's it's out there in the water just underneath. Great job, Gina. Now bring the bagpipe <laughs> out of the water. <laughs> Great job, honey. Bring the bagpipe out of the water and drop it. She I'm so it glad she has a name. Plops it down. Yeah. <laughs> Unseen servant is. It too felt great. like an unpaid intern. Yeah. All right, Gina. Coda. Shing. Slicing. Yeah. Respectfully, spin around. Yeah. Okay. Respectfully, let me see that ass. Respectfully, let me see that ass. Buddy. That's wow. 25. Thank 25. That Thank is a you. nat 20. Holy crap. Making it 25. And they look at you in the eye, Dolores, and they go, Whoa, you never told us about your hot mom. Yes, yes. Today is my day. There's two of us. Is that um, your first nat 20 of the campaign? I think maybe. After you said oh, let me see that. Let me see I that. Let me see that. That's what Dolores would yeah, crush. Truly. So these guys, um, <laughs> Do like a little turn around and wiggle. And then as they both get to like the part where they show you their backside, they both immediately turn around and look and they say, he's the thick one. The guy goes, I'm the thick one. And they say, and that's the door. And they say, and that's the door. And they're like, you didn't detect magic. It wasn't sealed. We just wanted to show you how took us is. And then they high five and do an awesome thing. And they're like, sup slime. Um, and then awesome. uh, that's Which it. door did they point to? They point to the smaller one. Okay, great. Yeah. Okay. So that's the door. So does anyone know what just happened? So he's like, "All right, let's let's jam," and then <laughs> uh, the the all of a sudden next to him, uh, like beams of light appear, and two uh, brown bears wearing backwards caps and sunglasses. And they they like skateboard out, yeah. and they're both just like, "Yo, what's up? I'm Rip, and I'm Dip." And we're brown bears, and we're freaking cool. Uh, Your animal uh, friends are uh, so cool. <laughs> on top of that, uh, Fernie just goes, I know. And then he starts to transform, and he fully transforms into a brown bear as well. A yeah. Brown what? Bear. Okay. So it's three brown bears just ready to go. And they're nice. like, he, he forms up, and then they all are just like, <laughs> and they all like pose, and it's really sick so as hell. That is so rad. That is pretty yeah. sick as hell. I wrap my bag around okay. me a few times so it doesn't drag while I'm fighting. Okay. And I put my two braids and I tie them up around the top of my head, and I just start to do a couple squats just to get the thighs fired up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I look at everyone and I go, I love you all. You're gonna see some. <laughs> 
fucked up shit about to happen. <laughs> okay, I love that. Okay, I guess if we're pre preparing, I'm like going full Super Saiyan, and my hair's like flying up. Ooh. Sand is like circling me, little flames around the circle, and I'm like, oh. <laughs> I'm like, Tarantino. oh. And like, one of me pops off, one of me pops off, and there's another one, and we're like, ooh, ooh. No! Ooh, it's like pitch perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, There's like, three Coda and one, one Adam Divine. Um, <laughs> yeah. So quiet. I've got the ma magic. Oh my god. Wow. Hey, if we're doing good. that, can I cast my mirror image? If we're doing, yeah. if yeah. we're doing that, that's exactly we're doing that. We're doing that. Okay. This is the, this is Avengers this, Endgame. Right this, now. Avengers, this is Avengers Endgame Losers Edition. Okay. So I get my I get my the mirror losers. image. The losers. That's our name. The losers. So I get I get my mirror image and I'm like, hey mother. A lot of shit has changed, but now we're embracing prayer. Let's go! I don't know who said it, but someone said that it feels like every time something bad happens to us, something worse happens to us next. And it feels like this is this has been all in leading up to this moment where we claim that and we say no. Right. That's right. Claim back our power. We're the authors of our own fate. Or story. Or story. This is crazy. There's three bears in the room. Yeah. With multiple codas. I was expecting Fernie to respond, but I guess he's a bear. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> Oh, never mind. <laughs> sorry, I'm in bear mode. I kind of influenced by rip and dip, and man, you know, I think about it, it's freaking shreds what we're doing. Oh. And rip is there just like, yeah, dude. <laughs> I feel you. <laughs> Guys, let's get it. Let's get what is owed to us. We signed that contract. We're in a house of tongues. Let's fucking do this thing. We fucking deserve so, this. House of tongues. And as you start to let yourself think, potentially this could all go away, you hear something in the distance, a jangling in rhythm. And you see this flowing black hair and this uh, this this tan skin, rippling, you know, abs, and it's Gunthar, yeah. and he's wheeling around in front of you toward the horde mimic. Yeah, I barely have a voice, but I go, boy, do I have an update for you. <laughs> so Gunthar looks at this horde mimic, and then turns around to the rest of the group, and says, "I'm afraid that update's gonna have to wait." I can't let you do this. He holds up his blade to you guys. And that's the end of this episode of Sword AF. Please join us next week for the thrilling conclusion of this season. Never trust your exes. <laughs> Dog, y'all never dated. What? Oh. That's embarrassing oh, for you. Well, we, we had conversations. We <laughs> dated. You, you never made it past the talking so stage. Bad. I have a question. <laughs> Sure. I look back from the window, I'm like, okay. So you're saying that all of this, it, the important thing is money. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so, uh, you know, we've been doing all this stuff for money and I, you know, we've gotten some money and that's cool. I still haven't figured out, and I'm asking genuinely, because I'm very confused, what does money do? <laughs> it bought me this purse. Because if we can't kill this thing because of money, then I, money must be pretty important. So what, what, Gunthar, what do you use money for? Money makes this world turn. Not the one I was raised in, mind you. That was a time where your name could get you whatever you needed. Your actions could get you whatever you needed. But it's not that way anymore. I mean, my God, we're a delivery service. But what if we were more? Bug walks back and joins the group. I mean, here's the thing, guys. I'm the same Gunthar you knew. I agree with you. And I want to return to the Age of Heroes our way. But it can't just be us five. It can't be. There's no way. It's not enough. We're talking about a whole world that's changed in the time that we've been doing what we do. But you can. It has to start somewhere. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. That's all I'm always saying that. that. I, would never I don't want to eat, uh, eat an elephant. It's a figure, how do you start a journey? One step at a time. Eat a bite of an elephant. I do like that, yeah. What would that even look like for us? Well, we one of us would start chewing at the feet. Not the elephant, no, Fernie. Fernie. Oh, what would it look like for us to change everything? I mean. Well, we'd start by beating the shit out of that thing. Yeah, what yes, is this mimic We were right so now? close I to was, it. Rip and Dip over there were doing some damage. Yeah. Just like. Gunther, you haven't even met Rip and Dip. 
They're good or people. Ruben, for that matter. I don't understand what you get from coming here at the at just right when we started getting our footing. Purpose. Another purpose. Yes. Um, so Gunthar pulls out a scroll, reads something off of it, and on the ground appears a portal. Out of this portal, um, hops who you haven't seen in nine episodes, Krongdar. Krongdar the orc, uh, your handler, the one who oh, gathered yeah. you all in that pub all those, all those week ago. And he pops up, he goes, hey, what's, uh, what's going on here? Gunthar, you're supposed to summon me for emergencies, big guy, what's, uh, what's going on? Hey, you four, looks like some uh, damage has been done here to the uh, heart of this mimic castle. <laughs> Wild. Yeah, so I don't really know how to give an official two weeks notice, but... Oh, I'm quitting right now. <laughs> yeah, we're all, um... Quitting. Quit. We quit, and you can take nothing because you didn't give us uniforms in the first place, so... We, we quit. quit, but I am still gonna beat the shit out of that thing in a second. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, uh, me three. Interesting. So you guys actually got a, a lot further than I thought. So you unleashed the Mimic Castle, which means you beat the witch, the hag that was here. That's great. You um, knew about yeah, the hag? You knew? Oh, buddy. <gasps> Come were on. Set up. Listen. You unleashed a turtle dragon into the world. You unleashed a mimic castle into the world. You guys don't miss the Age of Heroes at all? Listen, without problems, there's no cycle to anything. <gasps> Gunthar knows this too, and he taps on Gunthar, and Gunthar sort of looks down, and you can tell he's very much like defeated, like someone stronger than him is next to him telling him what to do and he can't really look him in the eye. So you can only be called a hero by those left alive and you better pray that those who survive are glad that you survived too. Now hearing all that and seeing everything I gave to you, you still wanna quit? Is the portal still open? Um, it is. I wanna push him. You wanna push him? All right. I love that. Go ahead and roll athletics for me. 17. Krungdar has a plus 10 to athletics, so that was nine plus 10. So you rush up and you put both your hands on him with as hard as, hard as you can, and there's just this gentle clink. And he looks at you and he goes, ah, Coda, that's a non-verbal answer, but I like you. You take action. That's great. It's cute is what it is. But the problem is, I need a villain. I need a villain to come out of all this, right? We need more conflict. I mean, this thing has already leveled villages as it's walked over this whole, you know, countryside. And I need more of that. Someone's gonna hire me to stop that. Someone's gonna hire me to fix all this stuff. So what are you gonna do? Find me another villain? I don't think so. I'm sorry, you guys. But you guys are gonna see a side of me that you might not like. Uh, the side of you that did Ariel in that pool, <laughs> I didn't like, so. Yes. See this amulet that I've been wearing? There's a dark side. I have a deal. Oh. No. Don't look for too long. It actually really hurts your eyes. Okay. I've been protecting you all, and I am done, done using illusions. I'm gonna throw my fucking fireball. I want Dolores to take away her illusion. Mm -hmm effect over over this fireball, and I want her to shoot this fireball directly towards Krondar. Towards Krondar? Yep. Okay, got it. Okay, I hurl my fireball straight in front of me. It is the colors of orange and red and yellow, and it burns. Everyone can feel the heat, I can feel the heat, and I push it away from my body right in front of me. Go ahead and roll to hit with that fireball. Seven. Coda, you're also gonna wanna roll. Okay. 18 plus two, so that's 20. 17. 17, okay, you dodge it as well. Krungdar sees that and just takes a step back and is like, whoa, <laughs> spicy, which you missed. It wasn't meant for you. <gasps> okay, um, mimic, mimic horde. Okay, so <laughs> this horde mimic is the only thing that gets hit by your fireball. Oh. Uh, Dolores, go ahead and roll. <laughs> 8d6. You know what would be fun? Jeez. Everybody hand oh Dolores god. your d6s. Oh my god. Give me all your d's. I'm using the power of everyone here and everyone who is not here. Huh? That's everyone. Tongo. It's 
especially Tongo. Okay. Um, oh. That's an 12 for them to the. Um, okay, so um, the Mimic Horde gets hit with this fireball. Yes. And wretches angrily, and you see this tendril just sort of recede back into its mouth as it closes up and burns and shakes and comes to a stop. <laughs> you did it. So Krungdar looks at that and goes, well, that was, that was real clever, Dolores. Oh no. You're the type of person that I would have promoted. I mean, you come back and visit Seraphel anytime. <laughs> Y'all did great. I would have definitely put you up more for higher pay, better hours, anything. You deserve it, you really do. But like I said, for this economy to work, I needed a villain. Damn. And so he walks on over to the window and looks forward, looks up a little bit, pulls out another scroll himself, puts his hand on the wall, and you can see outside the window there's a blue light. And he walks on over to Gunfar, and he says, well, at least I got four of them and Krungdar grabs Gunfar by the head and suplexes him down into the portal, <gasps> out the window, <gasps> portal, hundreds of feet to the ground. <gasps> what? And Krungdar is standing there looking at you like, damn, I really wish it had just been the castle. Well, it's incredible to me that four mercenaries went rogue and killed their driver. What a shame. <gasps> You are a monster. You're not gonna get away with this. You are a monster. You're the villain. Mm. I Thanks. beg yeah. to differ. Sick. And he, he looks at you and goes like, think about everything I said. Think about the state of the world. And you tell me if a couple of cracked eggs ain't worth an omelet. And he jumps back down into this portal, out the window, starts sliding down one of the tongues off into the distance. <gasps> portal closes behind him. And as you are left in this moment with the dead mimic and the memory of your dead friend, the castle begins to rumble again and settle. And you hear this horrifying scream in the distance, louder than it should ever be, as everything settles to a rest. And so you're left in this vault with all of this money, but the memory of what you just saw. Fernie picks up some gold coins. I still really don't know what this does. <laughs> <laughs> After all this, I still don't know what this does. This is me. Is this the villain? Honestly. Honestly? Honestly? Yeah. yeah. Do we punch it? No. no. Damn. I mean, I could. You Should probably we? could. That I'm was... feeling really, really hey, good hey, right now. Hey, you guys, would it make you feel better? Let's do it. Let's punch some gold. Okay, so all of you roll to hit um, unarmed strikes on this gold. All right. Oh, should we take all this off? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I need mine. Uh, I roll a 10. Okay, great. I want to slice some gold up. I'm slicing it. Okay, so you're slicing some gold up. Roll to hit. <laughs> I swear to God, Chance. It's 12, 12, 3. 12 plus 3. Coda and Dolores, you are too full of rage to properly hit this money. Swinging. You're still, you're just wildly swinging blindly, but you two need so much focus right now to get rid of the thought of Gunfar falling from hundreds of feet to the ground below that you're just making these perfect precision strikes on gold. And it may hurt your knuckles a bit, but it doesn't hurt as bad as your heart. I'm going, making perfect punches, which I've never done in my life. <laughs> going, he helped you find your purpose, bug. You had a perfect arc. You figured out who you were. Perfect arc. Ah! You had a perfect arc, and you, and it helped you find out who you were. Fernie lifts up a fist right in front of a gold coin. He's just like, I thought I finally had a purpose, and then it just starts like, <laughs> <laughs> like just like a jackhammer. Thanks. There's gold, which is evil, and then there's this dead mimic heart, which, which is, is just also there. evil. Okay, well, so it was do you, evil. Now I don't know. So if the house has a heart mm -hmm. and the heart is dead, does that make the house dead? Yes. Yes. Because the house used to be alive because it had tongues. Yeah. Yes. In yeah. Okay, because I have animate the debt. Yes. Okay. So I. So and the and the money is in the house, and we can't take the money, but we could take the house, we take and the we can house. move, and we can travel. Because then I can use the spell, and we could just take the house. And we can take the house. And we can take the house. I'll take the house. Okay. So <laughs> no, I'll take the house. Oh, I'll take oh, the I'm house from the my house. ex. Yeah. Oh, I'll always take the house. So bug. Um. Generally, that spell would be used on something smaller, like a person. 
but you are so inspired from the situation and the memory of Gunthar that I think if everybody comes to you and helps channel their own magic power and everybody else rolls a d20 as well, yeah. I'm gonna let you attempt. And this. what about if I if I cast Beacon of Hope? The spell bestows hope and vitality. <laughs> <laughs> you can't. You can. And guidance. And, and I can. can I can use. Yeah, I can use, use enhance ability. So you use enhance ability. You use guidance. Okay. 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 Um, uh, it has advantage. Great. Oh, advantage. Great. Um, so bug, roll a d20 for me. <sighs> okay. This whole time, I've been playing with crossbows. Meanwhile, I can animate right. the dead. Right, yeah, I know. We really, we really were. We're also in episode nine. Hell yeah. <laughs> I've been sticking crossbows through my freaking flip flops. Meanwhile, I can make a house move. <laughs> that is a actual natural 20 for you doing this, Buck. Everybody else roll your d20s too. Add in your power. That was crazy. Don't do it on this thing. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 20. 20. What the? That's crazy. 11. 11. Yeah. Seven. Uh, well, okay. That's okay. Two nat 20s. So y'all had two natural twenties. So channeling your powers together, um, Bug, you dig deep, and you've never felt so connected to the deity through which you've pledged your devotion. So you feel Kelwick's power for the first time. You know that this power is coming from both Kelwick and yourself, and you are bringing this heart back to life. But it is no longer this wild monstrosity that it used to be. It is under your control. And while you can't necessarily maintain this for too long, you are able to move this castle. Does anyone want to act as a lookout with like unseen servant uh, can or? I, uh, can I also just say something kind of cool really quick? Yeah. Um, so uh, Fernie's there, he's got his hand on your shoulder and he's just like, you know, I, I, I can really sense everyone's belief, but I just want to say, I, I believe in you. I definitely believe in you, but I can sense that Coda believes in you the most. And I think that's pretty cool. Because he didn't believe in you before, and I could feel that. Oh, he definitely did not believe in you. <laughs> but in this moment, in this moment, too. they absolutely believe in you. I could feel it too. Meanwhile, I'm holding a house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just want to say real quick while you're doing that. <laughs> Gina, Gina, uh, Bug needs a little bit of help. I'm calling my Gina, unseen. Gina, Gina, Gina. Sorry, Gina. I'm calling her out. Gina's like looking out the window and like keeping an eye out, and we'll just constantly be like. Good job, Gina. She's great with parallel parking. Rip and Dip are both having horrible trips. I mean, yeah. They're both just like, what's happening, <laughs> man? <laughs> I'll cast Minor Illusion and I'll amplify to a shout and be like, move out of the way. Villagers, move out of the way. Stop me getting literally emotional right this now. This is great. No, this is good content. Krungdar came here trying to make four villains, but I think he ended up making four heroes. <gasps> okay, that warmed my heart. Yeah, big words coming from you, Coda. Yeah. Guys, are we gonna stick together? Of course. Well, we are wanted by everyone in the whole world, as far as we know. They okay. think we're villains, All but right. we know we're heroes. Yeah. And everyone yeah. in this castle knows we're heroes. Cool, yeah. We yeah, are right. heroes. I mean, everything's different about us. Yeah. That's not just a crossbow anymore. That's a crossbow of heroes. Yes! This is my hammer of heroes! Yeah. This this is my big bag of heroes. I love that. This, yes. this, um, th uh, yeah. this is... You got it. Um, ooh, Come on. The, the hands of heroes. Perfect. Yes! This right here, sword of heroes. Yes! We're the sword of heroes. L like we are, yeah. Heroes are use uh, like they they would be like oh I'm gonna use them yeah, yeah like we're the sword of heroes oh I love that yeah that's our name oh I like that right you, you guys you guys are sort of heroes that works yeah the everybody sword of has heroes. been saying that this entire yeah, you're, time you're sort so of heroes. everybody knew that yeah like swords yeah you're yeah so, you're sort of heroes yeah. all right we're sort of heroes look at you go look at you go look at you go look. I have another cool thought okay. Okay, so we know the name of our our group. Um, I was also thinking we have this castle. What if we called it the Gunthar? I love that. That's the this castle because it's also like a moving castle. So it's like it's like a, also a ship. So it's like the Gunthar. A little pretty sick, right? Because he can't die in vain. Like he he's my motivation to yeah. beat the crap out of Krungar. Yeah. Bug looks up and is. Full of water. <laughs> I think it's a really good idea, Fernie. I don't know if you know what this is, but these are tears. Because I'm touched. Some sap like rolls out of his <laughs> oh. eye, eye hole. 
You've had that forever? That's really good in a mixed drink. <laughs> <laughs> um, so um, Gaspar is looking at all this as he's like hanging up a banner that says like welcome new owners of San Savour and just goes like <laughs> <laughs> Can Dolores yell out I love us it's oh, silence oh, shit. <laughs> Rip, oh, Rip walks out from out of nowhere he's just eating cereal he's just like what? <laughs> <laughs> and this has been Sword AF Delivering Destiny, Season 1. <laughs>